So I, I got in trouble a few weeks ago for pointing out, or even just hosting a woman for an interview who pointed out that pornography is turning a lot of people trans. And Media Matters, my publicists over there, mocked me for this and criticized me for this. And a lot of liberals have mocked and criticized this idea that pornography, addiction to pornography, increasingly weird pornography, is largely responsible for turning lots of otherwise basically normal people trans. And I, you know, I hate to say I told you so. The two guys who made The Matrix, the Wachowski brothers, they both went trans, which is kind of strange that two brothers around the same time would go trans. There's a video now circulating, it's been dug up, of one of the Wachowski brothers, Andy Wachowski, explaining that I'm totally right. <laughs> to be honest, like for me, the, the, the people that I saw, the, the first images that really struck a chord with me were, you know, uh, trans women and pornography. And um, there was something that um, unlocked in my brain that I saw these uh, wonderful, fearless performers um, becoming these, um, becoming desirable. And I, in my head, I could take the leap where I felt like, well, may, if I could be desirable, then maybe I could be loved. And for me, that's like one of the keys that trans people have to like struggle through, you know, will somebody love me? And so, yeah, that's, that's my answer, Nick Adams. That's an excellent answer, Lily Wachowski. So Andy now goes by Lily. What he described as his experience as one of the most prominent trans identifying people in America is exactly what I said happened for which I was criticized by all the libs. But of course that happens. What did Wachowski say? He said, I was watching this kind of weird porn. So I was going down a rabbit hole and then something got unlocked in my brain and I viewed myself differently and I cultivated a new kind of desire, a, a new vision of how I desired even to be desirable to others. And then I viewed myself as a woman. Yeah, I think that happens for a lot of people. The only ones talking about this are the feminists and the actual conservatives. The squishes and the libs and the center right and the center left and the people in the middle, they refuse to acknowledge that porn and depravity and vice are largely responsible for the spread of the transgender identity and ideology. But this is how desire is formed. Desire is not just something that you're born with and it remains exactly the same over time. It's not merely something that pops up one day and now you've got this desire for the rest of your life. Desire is a complex interplay of aspects of your nature and aspects of your acculturation that develop and deepen or they lessen over time. The, the scientific jargon for this always involves neural pathways. And I don't mean to mock the scientific jargon too much. If that helps you to see what the phenomenon is, then that's great. But well, people will say, well, look, if, you, if you're a big fat guy and Whenever you're feeling a little down or anxious or bored or so, you go eat an ice cream pop, then you're going to deepen the neural pathways. You're going to deepen the, the reward mechanism. Uh, and so whenever you start to feel that way, you're going to eat the ice cream pop and it's going to make you fatter, but it's going to be harder to break that. But you could, you could make the same kind of observation about a heroin addict. You can make the same observation about a pornography addict. You can make the same observation about anybody engaging in any kind of habitual behavior. That is how desire is formed. Right now, go to GenuCell.com slash Knowles. Did you know our friends at GenuCell have upgraded their most popular package to feature their top-selling deep-firming vitamin C serum plus ultra-retinol moisturizer with natural retinol alternative? Did you know that? Right now, you can take advantage of this limited-time package upgrade for 70, 70% off. Why waste time and money to go get work done to your face when you can get GenuCell skincare shipped right to your door. Here's a GenuCell.com review from Robert in Blessing, Texas. Quote, I purchased GenuCell as a gift for my girlfriend. She said she saw the results so fast. Her skin is noticeably softer and smoother. I can see and feel a difference too. She was already beautiful and GenuCell has made her more beautiful. GenuCell's secret is a family recipe for over 20 years. 
that makes it safe for all skin types and perfect for both men and women. You might think that it's only women buying this. Turns out, actually, probably slightly more men than women. I also love the founder, a compounding pharmacist. He makes it in small batches. He's, he's a, a Christian from Egypt who left Egypt for the American dream. It's just a great guy, great company, great product. Go to genucell.com slash Knowles. Try Genucell's most popular package for 70, 70% off, featuring both Genucell's Ultra Retinol and Genucell's Firming Serum. Get a complimentary spa essentials box with every package order, plus free upgrade to priority shipping. Genucell.com slash Knowles. The reason the science jargon is not all that persuasive is because we're not just bodies. We're not just bags of chemicals and brains in, inside a skeleton, but we're body and soul. And so the way that I think is simpler and more precise to talk about it is, is that this is how our desires are formed. And that's exactly the kind of language that Wachowski is using. So on the one side of transgender observations, you've got Michael Knowles and one of the most prominent transvestites in America. And the people who say we're wrong are a bunch of libs over at Media Matters. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? But that's obviously, I think we're on the right side of that. Speaking of desire, I've got a great story, a very rare, great story in the news that has nothing to do with weird sex stuff, has nothing to do with immigration, has nothing to do with the Democrats destroying our culture. This is just a great story. There's a 45-year-old high school custodian and part-time barber who just earned his high school diploma. This is a guy, I saw this story pop up. Local news story, 45-year-old Elmo De Silva. Uh, this was reported by Atlanta News First. He's a custodian for the Indian Creek Elementary School in Clarkston. And he just joined over 40 other adults who got their high school diplomas during a recent ceremony. He said, it wasn't easy. It was a struggle for a while and to achieve and get through it. And looking back, I'm very proud. This guy had to drop out of high school to take care of his younger brothers. Now, all these years later, he's gone back, gotten his high school diploma. I think it's great. Big congratulations to that guy. And the political lesson to take and the personal lesson for all of us is it's a reminder that it is never too late to improve yourself. We are are often tempted to think, oh, it's too late. I can't fix my situation, my family situation, my professional situation, my maleducation, my vice, my bad habits, my addictions. My, it's just too, it's too far gone. You know, old dog ain't going to change its spots. And, and people are tempted to think this way from the time they're five years old. We're always tempted to think this way, but it's just not true. It's never too late. Jeremy, the God King Jeremy Boring just made this point on Twitter today on a, a fairly unrelated topic. But he said that it, it's never too late until it is. <laughs> until you're, you're going into the ground, it's not too late. So you, you, you can improve yourself. And a lot of people think that in our culture, which is so depraved, it's got just such madness and addiction all around. We're in the throes of the worst opioid crisis ever. We've got the average life expectancy decreasing because of deaths of despair. Obviously, all the weird sex stuff going on, uh, family breakdown, loneliness epidemic. It's very easy to think, oh, well, it's just, it's all too far gone. There's no way we can ever, yes, you can. You can over. The way you overcome it, one, is to turn to God and accept God's grace, and then to cooperate with that grace and just take it one day at a time. And you just go back to that classroom for one day, and then you go back the next day, and you go back the next day, and you keep doing your job. And guess what? After a while, you've got a high school diploma. After a while, you've cured that addiction after, or, or greatly abated the addiction. After a while, you've grown in virtue. After a while, it's not too late. You're a human being with reason and will. You can do a lot. I'm glad you like that clip. Now, I need you to subscribe. Ring that bell. Get all the notifications for the Michael Knowles YouTube channel. See you next time.